But we occupy the Baesta State Government House ahead of the November 11 governorship election in Baesta State has charged the political atmosphere into a more intense, fierce, and intriguing battle for political survival and dominance in the next four. Since the return of democracy in 1999, the political landscape of Baesta State has been dominated by the People's Democratic Party with all the previous state governors elected under the platform. Political observers have anticipated an epic battle between the two prominent candidates. The Dewey of the PDP, the incumbent and the main challenger to the receiver of the All Progressive Congress, APC, who is aiming to upset the PDP and its stronghold. Joining me on this segment, is Honorable Amakiri Tebu is a former member by Esther State House of Assembly and a member of the People's Democratic Party by Esther State. Honorable, is indeed an honor to have you guest on Plus Politics. Uh, Honorable, we know that it is just inevitable that as a partisan you must uh, support your party. But uh, it does look that uh, your party may be getting a run for its money on this particular occasion. Uh, more so in the backdrop of the last gubernatorial elections, there was more of a Supreme Court award to your party at the expense of the popular votes of the people. What's your take of uh, what Melali happened on the, on the 11th of November? Um, I actually didn't hear you properly because the network is not too clear. Mm. So I just want you to repeat. Can you repeat the question? Uh, my, my question centers around what do you believe will happen on the 11th day of November when the votes will be cast? Okay, well, um, from what I can understand from what I heard, actually, is that um, the elections are going to be very peaceful and um, everybody is gearing up to vote for the People's Democratic Party because our governor has been doing so well and everybody in the state wants him back. What can I say? Is it the, the roads that he has been doing, the three senatorial roads, you know, that will affect almost everybody in the state? You know, there are so much to mention. I don't want to waste your time in trying to uh, honorable. Um, show... Uh, honorable. Yes, sir. INEC is particularly concerned that uh, the voters are not coming out to pick their voters' card. Is that an indication of apathy or people are a bit uh, disinterested? What, what could that be signaling? Okay, so uh, thank you very much. We may just have to uh, let you go. Unfortunately, we've tried about uh, two or three devices and two or three networks. Uh, thank you uh, for being part of the show. We just have to let you go now. Thank you.